Here at Daystar, we're always trying to come up with innovative new products. Now, in addition to being a manufacturer, we also happen to be racing enthusiasts. And it was in those racing efforts that we found the need for some high-quality hood pin kits. Because let's face it, whether you're barreling down a desert trail at 100 miles an hour in your race truck, or you're at the big end of the track in your 10-second car, I think we'd all agree we'd prefer that the hood stay precisely where it is supposed to be. And that is where Daystar's hood pin kits come into play. Now, Daystar's hood pin kits include everything you need for one complete hood pin. The unique thing here is our polyurethane grommets. Now you'll notice this is really, really soft. It's got a lot of give to it, and that's precisely what you want, especially when you're dealing with a fiberglass hood. Because if you had a rigid mount, a fiberglass hood will tend to crack around its mounts. Not to mention, this is also an isolator, so it's going to eliminate any rattles. But best of all, just like everything else that Daystar manufactures, everything in this kit is manufactured right here in the USA. So today, we're going to be showing you how to install one of these hood pin kits. And what better way to show you than on a brand new 2011 Mustang GT with less than a thousand miles on it. <laughs> We've got some big plans for this thing, but right now, it's time to get busy. Now the first step in the process is figuring out exactly where you're going to mount the hood pins. Now generally speaking, the core support is the best choice, but regardless, you want something solid that's not going to move. Now depending on the particular configuration of your car or truck, you may need to build some brackets off of the core support in order to properly locate them with the hood. But as you can see here, we have a couple of hood snubber locations that are going to serve as the perfect potential mounts for our hood pins. Now these simply unscrew like so, and the hole is even pretty close to the right size. Now we're going to use this outboard mount rather than the inboard location because this one interferes with the white stripe on the hood. So now that we've determined the pin location, what we need to do is mount the hood pins to the core support and then determine the location to mark and drill the hole in the hood itself. We need to get to the bottom side of the core support, which requires removing the headlight. So to do that, we had to remove the grill and then the front bumper. So now, I'm going to take a transfer punch and transfer this hole down to the bottom of the core support, and drill a pilot hole, and then take a hole saw and drill out the bottom. And now, we can install the hood pin. Now we don't know exactly what height it needs to be just yet, but that's alright, we can adjust that later. Now once we get this side mounted, just mount the other side, and then we can mark the hood. It's pretty good. All right, we have both hood pins installed, and now we can start messing with the hood itself. Now you'll notice there's these little flat spots molded into the underside of the hood. Those are where those rubber snubbers that we removed used to land. Now we know the hood pin is going to be pretty close to center of these flat spots here, but it's always good to double check that. Once we determine that, I'm going to drill this a little oversized so that we have some wiggle room. Once I have all this figured out, I'll show you a little trick to determine exactly where to drill through the top side of the hood. Yep, that looks pretty good, pretty good. Well, we are about to pass the point of no return, at least cosmetically. Now, you remember that little tip I was telling you about to determine the exact location to drill the hood? Well, what we're going to do here is take a little white grease, we're going to dab a little on each pin. Then we're going to lower the hood down, and some of that grease is going to transfer and mark our location to drill. Now, I'm going to drill a pilot hole from the bottom, and then finally, a one and a quarter inch hole saw from the top. Okay, there's my pilot hole. Now it's time to drill a big hole. Yeah. 
Now we can install the Daystar grommet in the hole we just drilled, and then we need to mark and drill the locations for the four mounting holes. Then we can permanently mount the grommet to the hood. Alright, that looks pretty good. Now after you get the grommets installed, all that's really left to do is to adjust the height of the pins. You can do that via those two nuts, just raise the post up or down as necessary. Got just enough clearance here to where the spring clip fits nicely, so all that's really left is to button this thing back together and we're all set. Well, that's pretty much all there is to it. Now this installation was pretty straightforward, although we did have some double wall stuff to deal with under the hood. But really, the installation complexity is going to vary a lot from vehicle to vehicle. Some could be real simple, some could be a little bit more difficult. But after it's all said and done, this Mustang's got a subtle new look and pretty soon we're going to be adding some ponies under the hood to match. Now as I mentioned, Daystar's hood pin kits are sold individually. That way you can add three or five or however many to suit your particular application. But hey, American-made products for American-made muscle. I like it.